you haven't had an opportunity to watch the pilot episode of the rain, stop listening to my message boards, here we go. A uh, deadly virus spreads by rainfall, forces siblings Simone and uh, Ramus to seek refuge in an underground bunker, parting ways with their scientific father. All right, check this out, man. If you have Netflix, go type in the search uh, bar and just find the rain. It's a, it's, it's like a Netflix original but it's 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 foreign. It's a Netflix foreign original. I got that. That's probably the best way for uh, for me to describe it. It's so entertaining, man. Um, I had this I had this thought, man. Um, like maybe it was like probably like six years ago. Okay, I'm sitting in bed dreaming. Okay, all of a sudden, man, like the rain comes down from the sky and this drop of rain hits me in my forehead and then it starts to like disintegrate me. Okay, <laughs> I know that's a crazy. I know. I know. And, and I. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to really talk about it on my uh, on my channel, um, but the, but the, but the dream woke me up. Okay, I know you guys are like what what does that have to do with it? But it's it's about the rain. So this rain man has a virus inside of it, and I thought to myself, I was like, yo, that's just pure genius. I, I wish I would have wrote this idea down, you know, a couple of years ago, and we could have created the rain. All right. So it, it's like it's like I'm watching my dream all over again, man. It's it's pretty it's pretty you know psychedelic, man. When I'm when I'm watching, I'm really I love this man. Um, it's it's gonna make you really like like want to punch the screen at times, man, because some of the characters are just so dumb. All right, especially the, I mean, they're kids. They're kids when they start off, and then at the end of the episode, they're 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 uh, they're adults. You know what I'm saying? So they're probably I'd say like between seven and eight years had passed, maybe even longer. Um, but you know, they're they're grown people now. You know, grown little adults just trying to you know survive out in this crazy crazy world. But they do some really really dumb stuff at the beginning of the episode, man. That makes you just scream out loud. Uh, the mother had to sacrifice herself. All right, she had to sacrifice herself in such a dumb way, um, because her kids. Like, here, here's the thing. All right, I'm gonna start from the beginning of the episode. All right, so you got these kids at school. They're having a science project or whatever. They're waiting for one kid to arrive. That kid comes in. She has like all the test answers. She has like everybody's, you know, um, uh, directions and stuff, you know, and instructions on what they're gonna do when they get inside to do their presentation. Okay. All of a sudden, man, her, her, uh, one of the characters, the, the character that came in late. She runs in, and her name is uh, Simone. She runs in. Um, he, he runs in. He's like, Simone, we have to go. And, and you can tell that it's ad-libbed, okay? So they, it's, it's like a voiceover. He's like, Simone, we have to go. Come, hurry, hurry. You know, and she's trying to. She's like, oh, father. <laughs> it's so stupid. She's like, oh, father, I can't. I have a presentation or something like that. He's like, damn your presentation. The school's going to die. You know, everybody's going to burn here or whatever. And then he pulls her out, and she's like, what are you talking about? And then the, the kids... They heard this, they heard this, but the kids at the table were like, they're like, oh, Simone, please come back. We have our presentation to do it. You're like, Yo. you're like, get out of here with that. That's just so stupid. That's so dumb. But anyway, uh, the father man pulls her in the car. You know, they have the mom in the front seat. Dad's driving. They got their little kid in the back seat, Ramus. And um, Ramus is a little, I'm, he's, I'm serious, he's a little dick, man. This dude won't buckle his seatbelt. He, he's like the most annoying character, okay? Besides that, like Call of Duty, uh, I mean, a God of War character, the little kid inside of God of War. Um, the kid won't buckle his seatbelt. So anyway, they're driving. The parents are all distracted, you know what I'm saying? He's like, um, we have to get past the rain because the rain is going to kill us all. And the mother's like, you know, oh, my God, where are we going to go? You know, are you okay? And I'm like, you know what's going on. He's taking you to wherever you're supposed to go. All of a sudden, man, like uh, cars are going the different, you know, in the wrong way on the auto on it's like it's just it's just chaos man and but but what was so dope about it off in the background in the distance you start seeing this cloud come and it's some of the best cgi because like you really feel like yo is this happening is like is <laughs> is this real footage is this real footage and it's it's pretty cool man um so there's lightning and, and you know stuff is storming and you can start to see like uh it gets really really dark man and then there's this guy who's inside of this van that pulls up in front of them they almost crash because a little stupid ramus won't put on a seat belt you know and the father turns around ramus you must put on your seat belt <laughs> because if you don't put on your seat belt <laughs> we're going to crash and die and then all of a sudden you know like they they, they stop just before hitting it man and a, a truck uh turns over and so like there's there's really nowhere else they can drive they can't drive four okay so their their um their route is impeded okay so what was pretty dope is that they get out the car you know real quickly and i was like okay because you guys are taking way too long man the storm is like on you 
And then there's this one guy who was about to hit him, and he's like, oh, gosh, he's like, wait, wait, where are you guys going? And then the, the father's screaming so loud. He's, he's talking so loud, either via the voiceover or actually how they filmed this thing. I, I don't know. I can't really make up my mind. But he's yelling out, uh, yeah, he's yelling out, the, the rain is coming. We're all going to die. He's yelling out so loud, and you're sitting here like, did you guys not hear that? I mean, all these people in the car are, are, you know, on the Autobahn that are trapped in their cars. You just heard him say that we're going to die because of the rain. Why aren't you following this family wherever they're going? Because obviously this dude knows what he's talking about, okay? And he's yelling out like, I'm a scientist. I know every. He's, he's yelling out all of the, the info that they need. So anyway, uh, the guy that was about to get in the accident with them, he kind of just looks at them as they run off in the distance. And they run off the Autobahn. They go up this hill and then they're into the forest. And all of a sudden, I was thinking to myself, I said, why aren't you going after them right now? So I guess he waits or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They go and they, they head into the forest. Their father comes up to this, like, little bitty bunker thing. It's like a um, uh, shelter, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, like, he puts his hand on this device. It reads his fingerprints or whatever, and then it opens up. And then they go inside, and, and you know, he starts telling them all this stuff. And, you know, uh, they have, like, enough supplies to last for, for all of them if it was just the mom, the dad, uh, Ramus and Simone and um, uh, those four. If it was those four, they had enough to survive, I think, like two years, three years, something like that. Um, but anyway, long story short, the father, he leaves, you know, and the mother leaves, and, and then they, they die. So there's only two of them, so they have, like, enough for, like, six or seven years, and that's how they get towards the end of the episode. Anyway, going back. So the father's like, listen, I want you to stay here. <laughs> He's talking to his kids. I want you to stay here with your mother, okay? We, um, and, and I'll be back. I have to go and, and do whatever the hell he's going to do. He puts on this suit. All right, so the father has this, this these suits for the for the people to wear, for his family to wear. Um, the only one that doesn't have a suit is little Ramus because he's... <laughs> because the father didn't prepare for, you know, this little shit, okay? <laughs> so... <laughs> So anyway, 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 long story short, man, um, a couple of hours pass by, all right, uh, they don't have any word from their father, um, their mother's just trying to keep them calm and stuff like that and just be a good mom, and then all of a sudden, like, there's this knock on this door, it's like, doom, 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 so, like, every, everything is, like, is calm and stuff inside of the, uh, the bunker, and then it, everything's quiet, though, and then all of a sudden you hear it, it's like, doom, 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 and I'm thinking to myself, the first thing I thought, I said, your fa first off, your father's not going to knock on the door. You were just up there with him whenever you decided to go into the bunker. Why would your father be using, you know, saying some knock knock device, you know what I'm saying, on a door? <laughs> Why would he be beating on the door, you know what I'm saying, if, if, if he put his hand on there and got you into there? So, uh, anyway, anyway, um, they. <laughs> <laughs> Ramus, this little, like I told you, man, he's, he's such a bad, he's such a bad character, man. I'm serious, you want to just grab this kid and just, like, throw him somewhere and, and, and lock him up somewhere, man. But anyway, he, uh, he runs up the stairs with his sister, and, uh, for some reason, his, his, his mom, his, his, how you want to say it? The mom's supposed to be watching the kids, all right? So she's a, she's a mom, and, and she's saying this out loud. She's like, she says it out, I mean, out loud for, for us as the audience to understand what's going on here, but also for the kids to acknowledge, this is not your father. All right, so she says, I don't, <laughs> she's like, I don't know who that is or what that is, but it can't be your father. I'm not expecting him for a couple of days. All of a sudden, the kids, the kids, like, they leave. They leave the area where they're at, you know what I'm saying? So the mom doesn't have eyes on. All right, so all of a sudden the camera cuts over to him and it's the kids at the door and they're pressing the button and the, the lift is coming up. So it's like this, it's like this. And then all of a sudden you're seeing, you're like, yo, what is that, bro? What is that? And all of a sudden, dude, dude, there's, there's a dude, there's a dude. And it's the dude from the actual Autobahn that was getting into the crash with them. You know what I'm saying? That almost crashed. He's at the door. He's at the door, you know what I'm saying? And, and there's rain. So first off, you know, as soon as you start hearing the rain, you see the rain, you see the dude's wet, the first thing you're thinking, you know, that takes you back to the beginning where the dude was like, you know, the rain is coming, we're all, <laughs> we're all going to die. And you're like, yo, yo, shut that door. You know what I'm saying? Like, do something. Somebody press the button on there and shut the door, but they don't. They, <laughs> they don't. They don't, man. And then there's rain coming into the, the shelter, you know what I'm saying? Which is this supposed to be like a poisonous virus, whatever, you know, that's killing millions of people, you know, and, and it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where's the adults? You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, the mom is way back. She's way back down in the shelter, in the bunker. She's way back over there, okay? 
So all of a sudden she hears the door and she hears the rain. All of a sudden she's like, <sighs> and then she takes action. So it takes her like, you know, like a minute to get up there. And you know, she's like, oh no, she's like, please no, shut the door. <laughs> It's not your father! You know, she's running, she's running, she's running. And then all of a sudden, you see the kids are like, ah, ah. <laughs> And the mom, you know what I'm saying, as the dude is coming forward, you know what I'm saying? Because you can see something's wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, look, he looks like a, like he's get, he's becoming a zombie or he's be, something's possessing him or something. And then she runs out, tackles him, and now she has the rain on her, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, um, uh, she screams out, Close the door! And then the little stupid uh, Raymond says, Mother, Mommy, you know, oh God, Mommy, what are you? <laughs> and and, and you know, they end up shutting, the, the, the girl Simone, she ends up shutting the door, you know what I'm saying? And then the mom, she, she dies out there, you know what I'm saying? She, she's dead. She's dead. And um, it was it was like, a, it was like, I couldn't really, I couldn't really feel for her because she was like the worst mom in the world okay so you remember netflix has uh the reboot man of um of danger will robinson you know what i'm saying so that was a really really good mom you know she was always looking after her kids and protecting them and doing smart stuff you know i thought that was a pretty good tv mom this was the worst mom in tv history i'm telling you right now man i'm telling you she 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 deserved to die i don't care she deserved to die man so anyway um they shut the door and then, um, you know, some time passes by, they end up going to sleep and stuff. The next day they wake up and then, um, you know, Simone and Ramus, they start looking around for like a, um, a telephone or some way to can contact their dad. All right. They find this tablet device and then um, they find um, a whole bunch of like pinpoints of different shelters throughout, you know, the, the entire country or whatever, however many they have out there. They look like there was like. I'd say like 15 at the most, all right? And that was just in that little bitty section that they were at, the little sector that they were at. Um, long story short, she comes, she, she starts looking through supplies and she finds all the food and stuff like that, starts cooking for little Ramus. They find this box. Um, well, actually, Ramus does because he's actually standing on it and then you start looking at the labels and everything's labeled, everything's organized. The father did a really good job. Um, they look down there on the bottom and it says like telecommunications or something like that. And she's like, oh, this is a telephone. And this is where it gets really just goofy, okay? This is where it gets goofy as hell. This device, okay, it's it's not it, it it's it's in a box. Alright, so it's it's in a box. And and I have I actually have a box. If I it's if I can reach it. I don't know if I can reach it, okay, but I'm, I'm gonna try to reach it real quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can um Oh that's my uh, what you call it. Hold on. Let me let me pause this real quick and I'll see if I can do it. All right, so it's it's in a box, it's in a box like this, okay? <laughs> this is exactly what the box is like, it's like, it's like orange, all right? So you just pop it open, you know what I'm saying? You pop it open and then, um, and then that's it, and that's it. That's that's where the, uh, the, the actual telephone is located at, all right? So <laughs> inside the box, it, it's a self-contained unit inside that box. There's, there's no, there's no uh, external plug. All right, so you open up the box, you start talking, and if the signal's weak, you just extend it. So, so what she decided to do, and this is the dumbest thing, she turns it on. <laughs> she she turns. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right, so hey, I'm back, man. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, man, I, I was talking about the communication, man, but I just I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't keep talking, man. I, I was laughing too much. All right, so. They, they, they're at this box. They're making this phone call to this guy. I think his name was Philip or something like that. And um, in, in, in order to, to extend the signal, because the signal started to go out, she sends, she sends her brother, uh, Rasmus, Asmus, whatever the hell this little kid's name is. He, he, <laughs> he runs with this cord all the way up the stairs to the front where the, uh, where the opening of the, of the shelter is at. And um, it was just one of those moments where she could have went with him. Because the the signal we're we're going deeper into the into the shelter, so we're deeper underground. So when he took the the actual signal booster up towards the top of the shelter where the door is at, 
it was just unnecessary. So it was like it was like showing the kid can do something. He was carrying it. He was all nervous and scared, you know, because he was going alone. And it was just it was just such a funny moment, man. And I was just like, okay, that's that's ridiculous, man. Um, anyway, um, um, she she puts her brother to bed, you know, um, and then she you know goes and takes a, takes a shower, and then she starts having kind of flashbacks after she get after she gets out the shower. She has flashbacks of what her father was saying, and she kind of remembers like he was talking about this all her entire life. So she she's she's prepared for this. They're prepared for this as a family. Um, we don't really know about the little kid because he was always sick and, um, you know, something was wrong with him. And, and we actually see a little bit of that um, during this, um, um, like, like, not a flashback sequence, but during this night sequence where she had put him to bed. She's, you know, in bed. And then all of a sudden she wakes up and, and he's not there. And he's, like, walking around and he was saying something like, Dad's here. And nobody was really there. But then the camera goes back and somebody might have actually been there. We don't know. They, they didn't really show us that, man. Anyway, long story short, man, they start eating up all the food. She cooks. They have fun. They jump around. They play. And then, um, you know, um, one morning we flash, fast forward a couple of years. Um, there's no food inside the shelter. There's very minimal bags of, like, you know, powdered stuff. And you could tell that, you know, supplies are running out. Um, all of the uh, vegetation, because obviously uh, she didn't take care of it or something happened. All the vegetation inside of there is is, is, uh, is dead. It's, it's dying. Um, um, there's mold. There's all sorts of, you know, decay and just, just really just bad stuff going on, man. So they're sleeping one night. Um, and all of a sudden, like, this this red alert goes on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bam, 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 or it makes some sort of similar uh, sound. And the air, the oxygen is actually uh, blocked off. Um, and, it's, and, it, and then you can see, like, where that, that pad was at. And it says, like, air ducts blocked or something like that. And it's all, all four or five or six or seven of them are blocked off. And then they go up and they, uh, they press the button to get out. Well, excuse me, let me, let me just go back. She doesn't get up. <laughs> the the kid, the kid who's grown now, you know, finally, you know, has the option to pick up his sister, pick up all the weight, and and he he carries her out. You know, what I'm saying up to the, up to the uh, button um, towards the door for the shelter. Presses the button, and then as he's opening it up, you know, what I'm saying there is there is there's people out there, okay. And then that's when the episode ends. But let me go back real quick, okay. Um, this was like a couple of scenes ago. She, the girl, um, decides to try to go and try to find her father, all right, and try to get some kind of answers, you know, before they give up hope and before all that stuff happens. She goes outside, um, and the world that they're exposed to now, the mother, uh, her, her body is, 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 is covered over with, uh, with, with vegetation, um, the guy that died with her, you can see his body's covered over vegetation, and then she walks outside, it's pitch black, and the only thing that she has is like a light on her, and then there's this deer, there's just a deer that's in there, and then she, the deer runs off, and then she runs around and walks around town, there's nothing there, there's no sort of, um, there's nothing, you know, they're, they're, everything's dead, everything is, is gone, you know what I'm saying, so it doesn't seem like there was anybody out there, no hope, so that's when she comes back inside, and, um, you know, she comes back inside, and then she, uh, um, you know, decides to keep cooking and all that stuff, man, so, like I said, it's worth it, I think if you give it a chance, man, it's on Netflix, I think you'll have a really, really great time, man, and I had a blast, it was just so fun watching it, man, can't wait to watch episode two and then to continue on, but I'm gonna take my time with this, because I don't know if there's gonna be a season two, I'm gonna take my time, I'll probably do one episode um, a week, um, instead of binging it the whole entire time, even though I do want to. I, I think it's very bingeable. All right, so it looks like episode number two, they're going to be grown. They're going to be with this new group, and then maybe they'll go in to try to find some of those other shelters that are around there. And that's it, guys, right here. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the Rain uh, pilot episode or the series in general, man. I don't really care about spoilers, so spoil it away if you are watching the episode. Um, I probably won't reply to those comments that are spoilers, but, you know, just you guys can carry on with the conversation, man, in the, in the comments. But right here, guys, that's it. That's it. Yeah, press that. Oh, my God! <laughs> Okay, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the pilot episode of The Rain, The Rain, stop listening now, Major Spoilers, here we go. Uh, this is a, like, Swedish show, if, if I'm not mistaken. It's some kind of foreign show. <laughs> I do know that. It's on Netflix. It is absolutely entertaining, okay? So this is just the pilot episode. Like I said, no spoilers, man. Um, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. Um, pilot episode was called Stay Inside. Uh, a deadly virus spread... Cut that off.
If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the pilot episode of The Rain, stop listening out. Damn it.